Alright, I guess we're back and we're gonna see how many frames I drop. Popping. Some amount of frames. 30%, 43%, 40%, 38%, coming down the stretch, 35%, coming down the stretch. Do I have a 33? Do I have a 32? Do I have a 33? 45, 45, 43. That's still not 80. But we'll see what happens when I start drawing in. So welcome back to the Zephyr Art Stream. This week I'm using my sweet laptop to draw some art for Aegis that we unlocked during the Kickstarter and it's pretty cool. Um, and it's very good to have all of you here. And so like I said, this we're going to be doing, G, this is the GMD 100. And it is the Moon's personal robot. In game it has some very powerful pushing attacks and the long range cannon. And this art that I'm actually editing, I did not draw this one from scratch. This is by uh, Daniel Olson, who is one of our super awesome collaboration art, collaborating artists who did the awesome commander art right here. And then, I just want to see if it's uh, actually working. Let's see. It appears to be working, you said. Alright, let's see. So, and that guy's. If you want to check out some more of his work, he does a lot of really cool character work at. Let's go here. Yeah, he does the commander art for the game. I specifically kind of chose him because he had a really cool... He has a really cool design sense, uh, and he had uh, kind of like the, just the right style. Not too anime, not too cartoony. It was kind of like this hybrid style that I really liked for Aegis, and um, I'm not... Right now it says we're only dropping 40% 40, 40 of frames. So... Yeah, he had a really good style that matched our game. Um, so I sought him out. I kind of had him on my radar for a while. Back at the end of 2015, we sent out an art test. Um, and we got a bunch of replies, and we kind of just ended up going with the two best people. I wanted to have more of an eclectic mix of art for the final game, like I want to have a whole bunch of guest artists. But managing artists, like third party artists, was very hard. Um, because we have, our game has a very specific style, and I wanted to have a good amount of control over that. Uh, so there was lots of back and forth with all of the artists. They were very good about that. But I did not have time to communicate with, say, like 10 different artists. I would like to work with them in the future, though. They are all very talented, and I like their work. But for now, we are just using Dan Olson and Mong Kuta, who is Cypress Dahlia. Uh, at Art Station, and you can kind of find him under that handle in other places too. He is very cool and very hireable. If you have anyone who's interested in characters and robots, and general really sweet illustrations, he's a great guy. Like I said, right now, this art is by Dan Wilson, and I am kind of just doing some edits to it. There are some perspective things that I'm nitpicking and some like posing and like proportion issues that I wanted to touch on. So I I just want I just kinda go in with a hacksaw and I edit the art manually. Usually by having a Let's 
usually just by using the lasso tool and cutting the art apart. And then just kind of stitching it back together like Frankenstein. I'm sure uh, Daniel Olson, when he does this art, originally has a really amazing process that he uses that probably involves drawing on paper and scanning and all this other stuff, but sadly when I take his art to make edits to it, I just I am the most barbaric man. Yes. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm on a different layer. To do so, smooth out the lines like this, like that. Go back to black. Edit. Smooth out this guy's leg right here. I'm gonna draw a happy little gray splotch. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get us. I almost expect that. I don't know why. I really don't. If as usual, if their stream isn't performing well, I, I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> I consider my computer to be pretty good, but maybe it just fundamentally disagrees with the idea of open broadcasting software. You see, it's actually there are lots of secrets are so secret, we can't share them. The internet's fighting against us, so we it's true. can't share them, obviously. Is the audio coming in alright? Um... That's the question. Check. I think the audio's probably dropping. Too. That's unfortunate if the audio is dropping. Check in now. You could just ask. Good, but it's some black. <sighs> do 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 Doing up some art. Oh way, oh way. Guys coming along pretty good. The funny thing is I actually have a nice piece of sunglass sheen that I took off the original art that I will re-add once I finish redrawing underneath it. I guess it would probably make more sense if I um probably make more sense if I did several things. But it's fine. Mostly the audio or the video? Audio is good. Frames dropping. All right. I'm not super worried about the frames, unless somebody else is super worried about the frames. I'm super worried about the frames. You're really worried about the frames? No. Super worried. What is art? So. You it's great because it, right? you so can. You can all the frames you can get. Yeah. Right, so let's see. I actually have, there's some cool stuff that I can show uh, regarding, I don't normally draw robots like this by just kind of hacking at it with the paintbrush, but it works for this one. For other robots we have a very distinct art process where I kind of use Like, uh, I, I use like clipping masks and layers and techniques and actual tools and I can probably show that if I remember off the top of my head where we keep that specific file. That's pretty good. Actually, you know what? I think I know exactly where that is. Open. Desktop. I think I have a Photoshop folder. On my desktop. Let's 
Gen Con promos. Images from config. New robots.jpg. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure we can open it. Oh, these are all dumped from one of my other laptops, but not the older, older one. It has lots of cool stuff. Made it disappear. You made it reappear. Okay. Welcome to the Aegis Art Lounge. Mm -hmm. Make all of your robot dreams come true. One sketch at a time. Once I put some... Once I finish my thought with this, you guys can watch the really cool process of me fumbling to, uh, do some actual cool art where I draw something from scratch and you can see my concepting process. Whoa. I know, it's... it's New to me too. Yeah. Not something I have done in a while. But part of the reason why I want to do this so I can get back into the swing. Yeah. I have art to do. And there's a lot of art to do. I have a lot I always have a lot of art to do. And it's much cheaper to do it myself. Though so I to say that I don't love getting new art from Mong and Dan because they're amazing. They are amazing. I love this kind of angry GMD. He's like kind of angry, but not really. He's a kind of cute angry where you're like, oh, I'm so mad. That's adorable. <laughs> Tip and I'll shoot you from like eight spaces away, ten spaces away, a million spaces away, a bajillion spaces away, and then you're sad. Especially if you fly. Let's see. So he definitely I like some of the little littler details that Dan puts on his art. Like all these little black scritchy scratch lines make him look more used. Yeah. Like more battlefield. Yeah. Those those uh those synonyms. Yeah, like those uh adjectives. Adjectives is the word. Yeah, like he doesn't he doesn't just come off the assembly line and uh All my robots look shiny as hell and super new. All of them. Well, yeah, we have, uh, we have the ARM777, my favorite robot that actually has, like, all sorts of kind of battle damage stuff yeah. on it. Yeah, well, that's, as you get better at drawing and do more robots, you kind of are able to add more details in at the same amount of time that it took you to draw robots in the first place. Yeah. So it's just getting better and then you can add more details. Make these... It doesn't mean talking like I know art things, but... I'll make, I'll make these screws look a little bit more three-dimensional by giving them like a curve. I'm gonna... There's like some subtle gradients going on with the coloring that I'm probably not going to be able to replicate. But I will do something with them. And, uh, let's see, so I have like some kind of weird lumpy perspective up here. And I will attack. I can like zoom out. What is Sarah's favorite robot art? Probably... Probably the Get Some. He made the lines, like, very thick and comic booky slash grimoire That's right around where I started uh, yeah. doing that yeah. style. At one point, the art was very... We didn't, like, get, like, the super black shaded style until exactly one point where I had to redraw a lot of the art over the course of like a single day and through that I kind of evolved the game's art style 